Joining me now is one of the president's accusers of sexual misconduct, Samantha Holvey. Samantha is a former Miss USA contestant who says that Donald Trump personally inspected her and her fellow contestants before that pageant in 2006. Samantha, with a welcome to you, you just heard Kellyanne Conway there say that the president is doing a great job for women. What's your reaction? It makes me want to laugh. What, what has he ever done for women? And I think that we really need to focus on the fact that the people in his administration knew about, knew about this abuse way before now. They've known for months and they didn't do anything until the nation got a hold of it, until the media got a hold of it and brought it to light. And now they're resigning because it's a black eye on the administration. But these, these guys should have not, it shouldn't have lasted this long. They should have been fired months ago when it was first found out. The president tweeted, as you know, yesterday that lives are being shattered and destroyed by a mere allegation. Some are true, some are false. What's your reaction to all that? Um, a mere allegation? I'm sorry, but the one woman actually filed a protective order against Porter. That's more than just an allegation. Um, you don't, you don't just, you don't go through the steps of filing a protective order for an allegation. That, that is very serious. I've seen the black eye um, from one of the women. I mean, these are, this is very serious abuse that we're talking about here. And I think it's disgusting that he would stand up for the man that has done this to these women. But but in a sense, you could also interpret the president's tweet there as being a broader statement saying some allegations are true, some allegations are false. Given your experience in the Miss USA pageant uh, as Miss North mm -hmm. Carolina there and, and what you say happened to you backstage uh, and also in meet and greets, um, how do you react to that? <laughs> You know, whenever we um, came out in December asking for Congress to investigate the, the president on his past of sexual misconduct, and he called us all liars. Mm -hmm. And he said that he had never met most of these women before. And then you start seeing pictures of us with him. And especially in my case, I was simply confirming his own words, the story that he himself told on Howard Stern bragging about going backstage. So, you know, how can you call me a liar? when I'm confirming your own words. Well, you mentioned uh, the, the time back in December, and the White House, as a result of mm -hmm. discussions, released a statement, and it regarded all the misconduct allegations against the president. And, and I want to put that up, have Will put that up for us, because it says these false claims, totally disputed in most cases by eyewitness accounts, were addressed at length during last year's campaign, and the American people voiced their judgment by delivering a decisive victory. The timing and absurdity of these false claims speaks volumes, and the publicity tour that has begun only further confirms the political motives behind them. So what do you have to say to the idea that winning the election absolves the president of these claims against him? I don't think we would have the Me Too movement right now if the women in this country felt safe, if the women in this country felt protected and that they were treated as equals. And I think that the movement speaks so much power to the women in this country and standing up not only against the president and every all the other abusers and just standing up for ourselves and trying to make this country better. The president has not mentioned anything about the victims at all. How does that sit with you? I think it's absolutely disgusting. It's so wrong that these women, he's talking about, you know, taking up for the men saying their lives are shattered. Excuse me? These women were, they were abused physically, they were abused emotionally, they were abused mentally. Their lives have been shattered. These women are the ones that were traumatized, have been traumatized. They're the ones that are the victims here, not, not these men. You know, when it comes to the president, he's really been all over the place when it comes to sexual misconduct allegations. He has thrown his support and defended Roger Ailes, Roy Moore. On the flip side, he's attacking Bill Clinton and Al Franken. And if you just look at the surface of it, supporting Republicans, attacking Democrats. Do you make that connection? Is that how you interpret all this? 
I, I don't think I don't think that sexual misconduct is a partisan issue. I don't think that abuse is a partisan issue. These are issues that everybody agrees are bad. Nobody should come out supporting sexual misconduct. Nobody comes out supporting abuse. This it's absolutely ridiculous. These are not partisan issues. After you took your issues though and voiced them in total with others back in December, has anything happened? I mean, what's been the reaction to all that? Um, well, I'm very proud to report that Rachel Crooks has actually uh, put her name in the hat in Ohio, and she's running for office, so I'm very happy to support her. I think we have a lot more women running for office in this country, and I'm very proud of that, and I would like to see Congress um, open an investigation into President Trump for sexual misconduct. And what are the chances of that happening in your mind? You know, I hope they're pretty high. I would really love to see that happen, especially as cruel as he has been to so many women throughout his entire life. Um, I think it's important that Congress makes that stand for women, and um, I think it would mean a great deal. I know it would mean a great deal to me. I think it would mean a great deal to all the women in our country. Is there anyone, Samantha, that you have targeted or that you know is open to the prospect of doing that in Congress? Um, not at the moment, but I know I have contacted both of my senators here in South Carolina and even my representative asking them to do so. Um, I don't think that they will, but I, I've certainly asked. So they, that would be Tim Scott and Lindsey Graham? Have they, so what are, have they responded at all? I mean, do you, do you think there's, I mean, you say you're hopeful. Mm -hmm. um, they have responded. I don't think they will be taking up that fight. Um, but I am hopeful that the other, especially the women in Congress, that they will take up the fight. Samantha Hulvey, it's good to talk with you. Thank you so much. And I Thank just you. want to reiterate that the president has denied any claims of sexual abuse and allegations against him in the past. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.